This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also you. Let us pray. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness and mercifully give us those things for which our unworthiness we dare not and for our blindness we cannot ask. Through the worthiness of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to the deserted place all by yourselves and rest the way. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognized them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. And he went ashore. He saw the great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to the land of Geneva and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognized him and rushed about the whole region and began to bring the sick on mass to wherever they heard he was. And whenever he went into villages or cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. May praise to you, Lord Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Now, I'd like you to tell me which commandment you think we break the most as a people. Bruce? Keep only the Sabbath day. You're right. <laughs> That's it. I mean, at least in my opinion. And there was somebody that said, or maybe uh, it was you, Bruce, that they would covet, <laughs> covet our neighbors, and that that could be. That could be too. But I, I'm going with the Sabbath. Um, if you'll remember two weeks ago uh, in our scripture, we heard the story of Jesus going to his hometown and he's rejected. And so that's not going to stop the mission that Jesus has. So he sends his disciples out two by two to go and preach the, the good news. And then, yet last week, we had stuck in there that story about John the Baptist's death. And so today, in the Gospel, we kind of pick up from, it says, as the apostles returned, the apostles returned and told Jesus all that they had taught and all that they had done. Isn't it interesting how all of a sudden the word apostle shows up. What's the <coughs> There's a difference between the word disciple and apostle. And I think many of us don't have that very clear in our minds. But a disciple is one that is working on a discipline. You see 
the word discipline right in that word. And that means they're learning and they're trying to incorporate it in their lives and they're working on it and learning, learning, learning. Apostle means sent out. So if someone who's already, you know, you stay, you're both a disciple and a, an apostle. And so I, I don't think you all know this, but you are both. You're not just a, a disciple. We are all called to be apostles as well. We're called to be doing that all the time. Learning and then going out and teaching and demonstrating what the kingdom of God is like. So the disciples come and they tell Jesus about their journey, all that they've done, and Jesus says to them, let's go to
that filled that up. And sometimes it might be going to a movie because you just want to rest your mind and, and kind of let things go. It could be a number of things. Because it's not just our bodies. It's our spirits and our minds that need to be refreshed. And so I invite you, like Jesus invited his disciples today in the gospel, to take some time to truly rest in the way in which you need it most. Amen. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work. For our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. Bring forth the 
kingdom of God. Seeds of mercy and seeds of justice grow in the kingdom of God. Bring forth the kingdom of mercy. Bring forth the kingdom of peace. Bring forth the kingdom of justice. Bring forth the city of God. We are a blessed and a pilgrim people. Kingdom of God, love our journey and love our home and love is the kingdom of God. Bring forth the kingdom of mercy, bring forth the kingdom of peace, bring forth the kingdom of justice, bring forth the city of God. The Lord be with you.
Live without fear. Your Creator has made you holy, has always protected you, and loves you as a mother. Go in peace to follow the good road, and may God's blessing be with you now and